Hello everybody, welcome to learn jQuery with CodeCypher. I hope so far you are good. You can now set up some responsive items on your website or web page. So before we kick off this video, allow me to thank you guys who have supported my channel, who have subscribed to it, shared content on other platforms. So thanks very much guys for the support. and. In today's video, we are going to be looking at this event method called the slide down in jQuery. So imagine you are having a note on your website or web page and you don't want users to be seeing it. So in order to view it, they have to click somewhere like that and they read the content. So that's what we are going to be creating today. I have refreshed the page and removed the code in the back side. So here I'm having two divs or two divisions and I gave each one a class so the first one was flip and another one panel so I'm using an internal style sheet so I'll first select both of them flip comma then a panel so Whatever I write will be applied to both the classes. So we have just separated them with a comma. So I'll first give them some background color. Sorry. Background color of yellow. I center them. I give them center give them some padding of 5 pixels so we have applied some padding as you can see now let's give it a border border of one pixel solid gray and that's what we are having but besides this we want to give the downer part some padding so i will select again the panel alone individually and i will give it padding of 60 pixels padding 60 pixels and so far that's okay now since we want to, we want a user when he clicks this click to slide down this one appears so it is not supposed to be shown on the website so we shall display it none display none so that it doesn't appear so we want when a user clicks this it slides down so that's when we shall go to our jquery and start writing code so this is our jquery document the saying document dot ready hey when they're ready when the document is ready execute it when it's not ready you should not do anything about that stuff so I say dollar sign and we are targeting the flip this one when it's clicked so we shall say dot flip because it's a class flip and when I flip we give some event method click and we set its function and this is the anonymous function again dollar sign so when that anonymous function is clicked, we want this to be executed, which is the panel. So we shall say dot panel dot panel and we say we set the event method which is laid down. So you can just set a function which is empty, the method which is empty. So like this, 
but you can also write any string or word like slow it can be slow you can put just units or perimeters like one second which is one thousand so that's the logic behind guys in case you are having some notes on your web page and you want to create some cool animations when the user is reading the document so that's it for the slide down in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at the slide up so follow step by step and you'll be able to come up with a basic nice fantastic website or web page thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my channel if you're new peace